the always funny Pastor Manning threw an epic tantrum at some pro-gay protesters outside of his church. Let's watch. Are you talking about your own self-hatred? It appears to me that you're the haters. You're the haters. You are the haters. You hate yourself. Anybody, anybody who loves another man's rectum is a hater. You're the hater. You're a Jesus hater. You are racist as well. Come on down here. Come on. Come on down here. Come on. Come on down here. Come on. Come on down here. Come on over here. Come on over here. Come over here. Come on, you faggots. All you lesbos. All you perverted people. All you dung eaters. Come on over here. Come on. I'm here. I'm here. Do you think your chants are going to stop me? You can no more stop me than you can stop the power of the blood of Jesus. I declare the blood of Jesus against you faggots, you lesbos, you perverts, you sick-minded people. You are sick. You are demon-possessed. You Stop the demons now. Stop the demons now. Stop the demons now. You are demon-possessed. You are full of the devil. You are the children of the devil. You are all the devil's children. You are pervert. You are disgrace. God help you. You are a wretched, unbelievable, despicable, disgrace to humanity. Your breath stinks of another man's butthole. Come again? Well, I shouldn't use that phrasing, because he might take it a different way. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Most of that was hilarious, except I, I cringed when he when he said faggot. Because it, it's, it's just from such a, a vitriolic place. Like, this guy is the definition of a bigot. He's 100% intolerant. And naturally, all of it was projection. There's one point there where he was screaming about, uh, you hate yourselves. What are you talking about? Your own self hatred? That's interesting because uh, I don't. What fucking evidence do you have that they hate themselves? They're just telling you to stop hating. He's like, you hate yourself. What are you basing that off of? Here's what I do know. Like I said, it's projection. Pastor Manning, we know, is struggling with his own internal demons. Let's say. Uh, you guys remember this clip? Any sense for overall from your descriptions here that you think that being gay is a lifestyle choice, so it's a choice that a lot of people would want to make. You think that semen is delicious to a lot of people, and and these are choices that people make. So it seems like perhaps if it wasn't for the Bible and the teachings of Moses, etc., that that you might have been tempted by those choices as well. Uh, is that is that the case? Have you been tempted? Oh, absolutely. No, 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 no doubt about it. You know, uh, Jink, I spent three and a half years in prison. So, yeah, I saw that and, and was, was, was tempted, but I didn't yield to temptation, by the way. I, you need to know that. And make sure you publish that as well. All right, so you, you, you thought about having gay sex, and that was tempting to you, and you thought that might be delicious or really fun, but you decided to hold strong and not do it. Is that, the, is that roughly right? That is true. All of that vitriolic anger and hatred directed at gay people, directed at anybody who's not like him. He just said it right there. I mean, the dude is just yearning for some cock. He can't wait to get his hands on some cock. And all the while, he's like, hey, the demons, the devils, you heard him say, quote, dung eaters. You're all dung eaters, which makes me think, what have you been eating, Pastor Manning? He's doing, as Dan Savage says, he's externalizing an internal struggle. He actually believes in certain aspects of his religion, and 
uh, he's trying hard to not be gay, but he sees other people who are gay getting more freedom, and he's jealous. So he lashes out. They got the dung eaters! Your breath stinks like another man's butthole! Let it out, dude. Throw on some assless chaps, go to the gay pride parade, and stop hating. Be a normal person, be an open-minded person. But I love how everything he said there made no sense. So that there was the projection, and then there was, they're screaming, stop the hate now. He says, you're racist! What? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Uh, dung eaters, and then one of my favorites. Demon possessed! Demon possessed? So you look around the world, you see natural disasters, you see plane crashes, you see malaria... You see civil war in Syria and South Sudan, all these different things. And you're not like, demons there! What are the demons doing in your mind? They're making gay people want to love each other and get married. And live fruitful, happy lives together. That's what the demons are doing? <laughs> Makes no sense at all, but then again, it's Pastor Manning, so... Why would you expect it to make sense?